Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a voiceover because um, the noise out here in the launch was really loud. So um, I'm actually doing this voiceover. Um, I just got home about two hours ago, but um, I wanted a overview of the whole day. I only got to do two launches today. I was taking pictures and kind of running around. So um, here I'm. I had this park. And I'm walking up to uh, go pay, get up, sign in and pay and everything. And uh, the turnout today was was pretty good. So here are all the motors. This is the motor man that I was telling you in a previous video. So it's actually better just to get them from him than to try to buy them and order them and everything. Um, he, he's usually got a pretty good list of stuff. All the ones right here in front of me are the all 20, 29 millimeter, and then and here's the other side. So these are reloadables, and then that's what I'm buying right there in front of me. So I bought a reloadable H135 from Leviathan, as you can see, looking at right now. In the middle, that is a G40. That's what I made in the uh, star orbiter with, and then the other two were. Um, G74 that I launched uh, Majestic with. You'll see those here in a little bit. So I got back to the Jeep and uh, I started unloading it. I was just looking at everything and see what I wanted to do. Um, there's the Leviathan in the box. I wanted to launch that, but I just got really busy and just running around and taking pictures. And there were so many other people launching, so I let everybody else launch. And it was really windy too. So here's the camera. I, I don't know if I've shown the camera yet, but I've bought this camera just to do photography. I've always been a fan of photography. I just never owned a camera. So I got a Nikon D3400. It's got a 300 zoom lens on it. Here's the uh, G74-6 that I, I'm going to put in the uh, S-Tis Majestic. And then here I'm showing the shoot release made by Jolly Logic really really good component to have um, it, you can see right there it's got the different feet so once it goes up and then you can say what you want it to release at when uh, when you're coming down and this is the ult ultimate ultimate altimeter oh my goodness and that tells you your altitude and your velocity and your falling your feet per second when you're falling showing everything oh and then this is the baffle so instead of using like um dog barf or um they call it uh it's like a paper you use that and here's the launch waiting for it so when this thing takes off it takes off kind of nervous so once it took off I got a little nervous and then here it is so it actually landed on the um, runway or the taxiway I think it's called so it's kind of tore it up a little bit the uh, shoot release and the uh, altimeter kind of got beat up a little bit it's funny because the altimeter stopped working after this flight so kind of kind of bummed out I'm gonna mess with it to hopefully it comes back and I'm showing here all the scrapes and everything um, this rocket I might put up or I might fly it one more time. Alright, so prepping the um, star orbiter that I built on these pre previous videos. I'm going to prep it and get it ready for launch. And then I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab the G40. Yep, here it goes. So I grabbed the G40 and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to use this guy. Pretty good motor. I wish I had the altimeter in it. I was trying to hit 3,000 or more right. feet, but Are we ready? oh well. So here's a little race that they were having, and I kind of wanted to get in the side, and I kind of let them go, and then I All go right. to we are the other two. It was actually kind of a scramble because five, almost everyone four, went up. Three, we all had a scramble one. to go get them. So they were really, really quick. So here I am about halfway down the field, and I'm actually looking back at the launch site halfway down the airport and uh, I found my rocket but we're gonna keep walking to look for some more there was eight total so 
do when I keep walking, um, walked a lot today, so I'm kind of tired. So here I am at the end of the runway, and then there's the other guy that, uh, he was looking for his rocket too. And I'm way over here, so I'm kind of start heading back. I actually got lucky, or, or me and the other guy got lucky. We we uh, got a ride back, so here we are, riding back in the AC. Oh, it keeps walking back. The AC. Um, I'm gonna show the uh, star orbiter again when I get back to the Jeep here in a little bit. Um, no, no scrapes, no scratches or anything. Uh, came down pretty good. The only thing though was the. Once it landed, the wind was blowing so hard, the streamer got kind of tangled with the uh, line, so I got to take all that apart and kind of restring it, but it's no big deal. And I got everything packed, and I'm ready to head home. So, hope you enjoyed.